1963 Rondine Concept The Rondine Concept blended the American muscle of the Corvette with the European elegance and sophistication of Pininfarina. The Rondine Concept was based on the same chassis and mechanical components as the Corvette C2, which meant it had a 327 cubic inch V8 engine that produced 360 horsepower. However, the concept was not intended to be a performance car, but rather a luxury grand tourer that showcased the potential of the Corvette platform. It made its debut at the 1963 Paris Motor Show, where it attracted a lot of attention and admiration. However, it remained a one-off prototype and was never put into production. Pininfarina kept the Rondine concept in its private museum in Turin, Italy until 2008, when it was sold at auction for $1.6 million. It's considered one of the most valuable and beautiful Corvettes ever made. 1991 ISO Grifo 90 The ISO Grifo 90 was a project to revive the ISO brand, which had gone bankrupt in 1974. It was designed by Marcello Gandini, who had also styled the original ISO Grifo in the 1960s. The car was presented in June 1991 near Modena, Italy, but only one non-functioning prototype was ever built. The project was then stopped. In 2007, the multi-material manufacturer Mako Shark found the wooden model and decided to produce this car. Federico Bonomelli, owner of Mako Shark, is already an Iso Revolta collector. Together with his brother, he redesigned the car and got Piero Rivolta's approval to produce 12 new ISO Grifo 90s. The new prototype is based on the Corvette C5 Z06 with a V8 ZR1 aluminum monoblock engine modified by Callaway, producing 490 horses. The prototype was completed in 2010 and only one was built due to the 2008 economic crisis. 1991 Jankel Tempest The Jankel Tempest is a rare and exotic supercar that was based on the Corvette C4 and designed by Robert Jankel, the founder of Panther Westwinds. The Tempest was unveiled in December 1990 and claimed to have a top speed of over 200 miles per hour and a 0 to 60 time of just 3.3 seconds. Most of the cars have a 6.3 or 6.7 liter Vortex V8 engine manufactured in Los Angeles by the famous engine tuner Traco. In its most powerful spec, the Tempest produces 535 horses and 608 pound-feet of torque. The Tempest had a bespoke body shell made of Kevlar, which gave it a distinctive and aggressive look but also made it very expensive. Only around 35 examples were ever built from 1991 to 1993, most of them sold to wealthy customers abroad. 1991 Callaway Super Speedster LM The Super Speedster LM is a rare and powerful car that was based on the C4 Corvette ZR1. It was the result of a collaboration between Corvette performance guru Reeves Callaway and designer Paul Deutschmann who also created the original Callaway Speedster and the Le Mans GT two-pole-winning Callaway LM racer. The Super Speedster LM had a twin-turbocharged and intercooled LT5 engine that delivered an astonishing 766 horses. This engine was one of only three such engines built by Callaway cars and was dubbed the Supernatural LT5. It also had engineering modifications to the suspension and driveline to handle the massive power output. The Super Speedster LM was one of only two Series 2 Super Speedsters based on the ZR1 model and the only one with the Le Mans bodywork. 2003 Ital Design Moray The Ital Design Moray is a concept car that was designed by Giorgetto and Fabrizio Giugiaro as a tribute to the 50th anniversary of the Chevrolet Corvette. It was presented for the first time at the Geneva Motor Show on March 4, 2003. The Moray was based on the Corvette mechanics and chassis, but featured a unique bodywork that resembled the shape of a Moray eel, a fish that lives in the Mediterranean Sea. It had a sleek and elegant profile with long and slender front lights, a curved bonnet, and a raised tail. The doors were made of clear crystal and opened like seagull wings, allowing easy access to the interior. 
It could also be transformed into a roadster by removing the roof panel and the B door frame. 2008 Anteros XTM Roadster the Anteros XTM Roadster was inspired by the classic European roadsters of the 1950s and 1960s. It was designed by Anteros Coachworks, a company that specializes in customizing modern cars with retro styling. The XTM Roadster is based on the Corvette C6 platform, but features a carbon composite body that reduces the weight by 200 pounds. The engine is a 6-liter V8 that produces 440 horses and can be paired with a 6-speed manual or a 4-speed automatic gearbox. The XTM Roadster was part of a 3-car range, including the XTS Targa and the XTR Hardtop. The Anteros XTM Roadster was first introduced at the 2005 SEMA show and was available for order in 2008 for a starting price of $149,500. Only a limited number of units were produced, making it a rare and exclusive car. 2009 Bertone Mantide The Bertone Mantide was designed by Jason Castriota. He wanted to create a car that would showcase the best of Bertone's design and engineering skills. He chose the Corvette ZR1 as the base for his project because he admired its performance and technology. Castriota and his team spent about a year transforming the ZR1 into the Mantide. They replaced all the body panels with carbon fiber, giving the car a futuristic and aggressive look. They also improved the aerodynamics and reduced the weight by 220 pounds, making the car faster and more agile than the ZR1. The Mantide had a 6.2-liter supercharged V8 engine that produced 638 horses and 604 pound-feet of torque accelerating from 0 to 62 in just 3.3 seconds and reaching a top speed of 218 miles per hour. Bertone planned to produce 10 man tides, each costing about $2 million, but ultimately only one was built. ISO Revolta GTZ the ISO Revolta GTZ is a modern tribute to the legendary ISO Revolta cars of the 1960s and 1970s, which combined Italian design and American power. The GTZ was born as a virtual concept for the Gran Turismo Sport video game, but it soon became a reality thanks to the collaboration between ISO Revolta and Zagato. The GTZ follows the same formula but with modern technology and materials. The body is made of carbon fiber and the engine is a supercharged 6.2-liter LT4 V8 that produces 660 horses and 649 pound-feet of torque. The GTZ can accelerate from 0 to 62 in 3.7 seconds and reach a top speed of 195 miles per hour. The chassis is based on the Corvette C7 Z06, but with modifications to suit the Zagato style and aerodynamics. Only 19 units will be made most of which have already been sold to collectors and enthusiasts. Ares S1 Project The Ares S1 Project is a limited-edition supercar based on the C8 Corvette platform, but with a bespoke design and performance. It is the first-ever wholly designed supercar by Ares Modena. The Ares S1 Project has two variants, the Coupe and the Speedster. Both are powered by a naturally aspirated V8 engine that produces 715 horsepower and can accelerate from 0 to 62 in just 2.7 seconds. The bodywork is made entirely of handmade carbon fiber, and the interior is trimmed with Italian leather and Alcantara. The S1 project aims to offer an authentic and visceral driving experience inspired by the racing prototypes of the 1970s and 1980s. The S1 project was first revealed as a concept car in 2020, and only 24 units will be made. 